So Adam, just talk a little bit about what this this uh, pre-draft prep has been like for you. It's been a long process so far. Um, you know, it's, it's fun. I'm just glad I got the opportunity to be able to go, maybe go to the next level. And I got a great backing behind me through Iowa. And it's going well. Um, I, I trained in Arizona, came back last month, had a pro day, and you know went well. And you know, I had some individual workouts with some teams, so it's, it's going really well. Who'd you work out for? Um, the Bears, the Browns, the Giants, and I have a, excuse me, I have one coming up with the uh, the Ravens. Do you feel like those teams are the ones that are most interested, or have you heard from other teams that you just haven't worked out for yet? Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, I, I really don't know, but we'll, we'll find out in about a month. <laughs> <laughs> Do you try not to get caught up in that? You know, I've talked to guys that go, have gone through the process before, and it's drives you crazy if you try to figure out where you're going. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to think about it. Like I said, I'm just <laughs> glad to have the opportunity to you know, be considered for the draft because a lot of guys don't get that opportunity. Talk about getting to this point. It hasn't been easy for you. You overcame a lot of injuries during your career, especially your junior year where you had a chance to get in there and play a lot. How how frustrating was that and how rewarding is it to, to get to this point? It's very frustrating. But like I said, I had a great back, you know, my family God, you know, Iowa. You know, three great, great things you can't complain about because those are what got me through. You know, 2010 with the injuries and you know having a great season last year. You know, those are the things that you know really important, and really important to me, and those are the things that got me through. You turned some heads at the combine, obviously. I think that's where your name kind of blew up a little bit. Yeah. What I mean, going into that, what what were the expectations, and and you know, coming out of it, how did you feel? Um, I just wanted to show you know that Iowa is a great speed and conditioning program and you know great great weight program and you know, coach Doyle does a great job with all of our guys and we do we do some combine stuff every year and you know that definitely helps and you know in Arizona like I said I worked out he and Danny does a great job with us and he gets us really ready for the combine and just both of those things together really just kind of exploded when, we, when I got to the combine so what was it like going through that though and seeing your name out there and people starting to like recognize who you were because you kind of went under the radar through here despite being an offensive lineman at Iowa. <laughs> I guess it's all right. Um, I, I really don't know. You know I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that popular so not too many people <laughs> know who I am but I really have it that way. Stay under the radar. You know, low profile. So it's cool. What's important what, at these workouts, um, pro day, uh, what are guys looking at from you? What, what's important that you show these pro scouts? Um, a lot of a lot of the teams want to know if you can you know learn their plays and how quick can you learn their plays. So we'll be in the classroom writing plays on the board and watching film for you know, maybe an hour and a half, an hour. Then they want to see if, if you got some good knee bend, if you can move, you know, if, if, if you got some good explosions, some good pop off the ball. How are you feeling physically at this point? Feel great. Feel great. Um, back here working out, so feel awesome. What uh, what's what's going to happen from now to the draft? What what do, what do you, I mean? I, you have another uh, uh, meeting with a team, and maybe more of those will pop up. But what what's the what's the process from here to draft day? Lift, eat, and sleep. <laughs> this is pretty much it. Uh, get up, eat, come here, lift, run, and run a little bit in the bubble, and you know get some rest and just get ready for the next day and do it all over again. A lot of kids come to college and, and dream of that that next level. Was that you? Did you feel like you had that shot when you got here? To tell you the truth, no. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even think I'd be able to play Big Ten football. But um, you know, Iowa just—I you know, came from 220 pounds to 293 pounds within five years. And like I said, Coach Doyle does an awesome job you know, building his players up, and I, I'm just lucky to have that opportunity to you know play with some of the best players and play at the best school. What do you feel like are some of your best attributes that you can bring to the next level? Um, I would say my quickness, um, smart, you know, in the classroom and, you know, on the field. Very, I'm versatile. I can play center or guard. And uh, I think I'm pretty explosive. Did you have to kind of pinch yourself when you were working out for the Bears? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to pinch myself, period, because I'm, I'm, I'm here. I didn't, like I said, I didn't think I'd be here. So I had to pinch myself a long time ago, you know. I figured growing up in Illinois that the Bears would be kind of larger than life. It, it really is. You know, my family, you know, we're all Bears fans, so, you know, we'll see what happens. What do you think of this class, this draft class for, for Iowa? You know, you got Jordan who, who threw that 
incredible vertical leap up at Pro Day and Marvin's great. and Marvin down at you know running the forty. It seems like all you guys are doing pretty well. Yeah, I think we have a great class. You know, we got guys like like you said, Bernstein, Marvin, Broderick, Big Mike. You know, just some great players on the field. Great, even better people off the field. So I'm glad I'm able to be in their class. What are you going to do on draft day? I'll probably be at home and <laughs> swatch it. I'm not going to get too nervous about anything. You know, like I guess I was just good, glad to have the opportunity to even be considered. So you know, I'm, I don't have any expectations. Uh, just to touch a little bit on the future at Iowa. What's what's coming up here on this offensive line that's behind you guys? You guys, you know, you lose some some guys, including yourself. What's coming up next? We got some great players. I think that are coming. Up. A lot of young guys. You know, we got guys like. Van Sloten, who's very fundamentally sound, and you got some big bruisers like um, you know, Ferentz, you know, he gets after people, and you got Tobin that started some games for us, and you know, uh, Sheriff, and he's just a big bruiser, he likes to get after people too, so it should be exciting to see who will start the five on. What does Austin Blythe look like as a true freshman? <laughs> he's a great kid, you know, <laughs> um, I met some people from his hometown, and there's nothing but great things to be said about him, and He's, he's going to be a good player. He's going to be a very good player. He, like, he's versatile also. He can play center or guard. So, you know, whatever's best for him, that's what he's going to play.